What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another unboxing and review video. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a closer look at this amazing two-pack. So let's get it started. Alright, so if you watched my pump video to GameStop, you would have seen that I picked this up. And that was the first time I actually saw this uh, in person. And wow, uh, this thing is just legit cool. Uh, even in the box, here's the thing. If you never took this out of the box, it looks great. So yeah, whether you're an inbox or an out-of-box collector, you can't go wrong with this two-pack. Uh, the front of the box looks great. has a really good big open window. Side of the box right there. The back, we got Iron Man. Boom. Um, but me personally, um, Obadiah, it's a cool figure. I mean, I'm not a... I'm, this right here is not as interesting to me as this. Uh, the, the Iron Mogger is what I am uh, most excited to... Uh, get out of the box so let's uh i'll show you what it looks like in the clamshell i will be uh trying to keep this box in good shape because it is a good box and it's probably where i will keep the uh obadiah figure but let's get it out i've i've never even seen a review on this figure so i have I have no predetermined thoughts when it comes to it, other than the fact that I just realized it's heavy. It is a heavy figure. But uh, right there in the clamshell, looks great. Oh. So I tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get everything out of the clamshell. We'll come back and we'll take a closer look at both these figures. All right, so we got the figures out of the box. Um, and first and foremost it it comes with a lot the figures themselves are just amazing even obadiah um nothing nothing really wrong with him it's just i don't know if he fits anywhere in my collection uh it does come with some effects uh right there i'm not just not for sure that may be like a smoke effect we actually have a weapons firing effect uh, this is really cool. Comes with a uh, little arc reactor, which is very, very nice. Uh, that's a good touch. Uh, the briefcase. I actually like the briefcase. Will the arc reactor fit in it? No, it does not. That would be cool. That would be cool if the arc reactor would fit in it, but uh, this is a nice little, uh, nice little touch. Uh, I dig that. Uh, Ironmonger comes with an extra pair of hands. Uh, this piece was in the back of the clamshell, and based on the position, it looked like it went um, on this side, but I have yet to figure this out. It looks like some kind of a, a possible weapon system. There may be a piece that interchanges. I don't know. Uh, but it's it's cool looking. There's a lot of really good detail with it. So uh, yeah, I have to figure it out. And it also comes with this uh, ammunition belt, which is really neat. How it uh, fits in the uh, Ironmonger right there. So that's that's a cool touch. So that's that's basically the accessories. Uh, the figures themselves. Uh, Obadiah is a it's it's a good looking figure. Uh, head sculpt looks great. I actually dig the head sculpt. Uh, does it, you know, maybe? <laughs> um, the the thing about this figure that I'm not liking so much is um, it, it has two different colors of black. So we have like a matte, flat black here. And then this is gloss on the arms and on the legs. So that's the thing that really doesn't do it for me. If everything had been the color of the jacket, uh, I think it would have looked better. Um, black's, a, black's a hard color, and you can really spot those two-tone colors. But again, 
the detail looks pretty good on it uh, this this foot here has actually got a weird little uh, bend to it so I'm probably gonna have to, to heat it up to uh, get it to loosen up the ankle moves but it doesn't pivot down or up so it's a really really tight joint but anyway as far as the figure itself the head uh, not a lot of side to side which I was actually pretty shocked by uh, down is good up is good but uh, hardly any side to side movement on it shoulders oh, that joint's a little tight too wow that joint is really tight yeah yeah i'm gonna have to heat that one up that's that's extremely tight right there so that's that's as far as i can get it up uh with without really forcing it um elbow wise got a good elbow joint uh, another thing that I'm not a big fan of, um, especially with suits, like you could pull this off, but if you notice right here, you got the black arm, you know? Um, so yeah, I think I would have rather them not make this the way it is, but I'm nitpicking. I'm nitpicking right now. Uh, is there a waist? There is a good, uh, good waistband. But as you can see, the jacket pops up. Back, that's a good one. Do have a nice uh, waist swivel. No side to side. Uh, hips aren't bad considering the jacket actually is uh, hindering it a little bit. And knees, got a good knee bend. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, is there a thigh swivel? There is no, it's uh, there is a thigh swivel, but uh, again, on my figure, the joints are really, really tight overall. Um, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to, uh, if if I decide to keep it, I'm gonna have to uh, do some work on it. And like I said, even this shoulder doesn't go in all the way. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to heat him up and uh, mess around with him a little bit. But overall, the head sculpt's great. Head sculpt's great. Uh, my biggest complaint is the paint on the on the suit. Two two different colors, black. Uh, I'm just not a big fan of it. Uh, but yeah, there's Obadiah. Obadiah's gonna have to get a a warm water bath because even this foot doesn't go up easily that's just you know and, and you want to pull on it but you know it's just going to mess it up so i don't even know if at, at the at the shape he's in now i don't even know if he would even pose up he may there we go we can get him with a little backward leg stance but there's obadiah yes but to me the star of the show is right here Ironmonger, check check him out. This thing is awesome. I mean, the detail is absolutely stunning on this figure. I mean, there is so much detail, and even when you look at it, the metal looks like metal. Um, tons of tons of detail. Um, I did notice when I pulled mine out of the box, this shoulder piece here actually was out. I don't know if it's broke or if it's supposed to do that. I haven't checked the other one. Okay, the other one comes out too, so that's that's good to know. So it gives you that simulation of a piston action, especially right back here uh, when you move the arms. The uh, pistons actually move with it so that's that's pretty cool I, ha I just now noticed something though that i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna like it or not all right so right here there's a bend happens when you when you push his arms forward 
it's it's a pretty aggressive bend right there so that could turn into a spot that may break over time i don't know i mean it's i could i could be overthinking it i will tell you this the joints on this are smooth are very smooth joints all right let's take a look at this thing so ironmonger um rotation on the head that's that's about it it does move up i do believe a little bit and down cool uh, shoulders oh nothing wrong with that nothing's wrong with that uh so we do have a bicep that's about it for the elbow which is cool nothing wrong with that but again look at the detail right there it's just insane the amount of detail uh, we do have do have a good uh, torso rotation it feels like there's a it's almost like it's got a ratchet to it we do have a good uh, side to side yeah nothing wrong with that ab crunch lower back nothing wrong with that either we get into the legs. I don't know how much we'll get because that's, I think that's about it. Uh, maybe. Yeah, it looks like that's about it for the hips, which it's, I mean, it's a big old robot, a big old armored thing. So you can't, you can't, you know, come on. Uh, knees. Let's see. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad for a knee. For something this big um, the foot I'm curious about um, not a whole lot I mean it it rotates I was wondering if it was two pieces but it's not but that's okay my little uh, piston came out <laughs> that's the uh, downfall to these little pistons and the pistons actually give it some really cool uh, realism to it uh, so I dig that it definitely stands on its own really good uh, let's see let's check out the uh, the ammo belt it just slides in I do believe yeah just like that voila look at that <laughs> such a cool effect uh, the other thing that it comes with, it comes with a pair of uh, gripping, like gripping hands. Uh, these are really cool. I dig these. Um, the fist hands are, are nice, but uh, I like the fact that we actually have uh, another set of hands. So, uh, yeah. There's Ironmonger, Ironmonger and, and Obadiah right there. Obadiah with his jacked up leg. He ain't going to stand. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to figure out some kind of a pose and we'll come back and I'll give you my final thoughts on these two awesome figures. All right, we're back. I got the uh, figures up on the old spinny spinny and you know, it displays, it displays great. And if I was going to display it out of the box, Obadiah actually works pretty good with the figure. Uh, I do like the fact that he's got the... Uh, the arc reactor and the briefcase. The Obadiah figure, my biggest complaint is the paint on the suit um, and articulation. I couldn't really test it because all the joints were crazy tight. Uh, the Ironmonger figure, paint is spot on. It does need some weathering, which I will be doing to my Ironmonger because I just want to give it a little bit of a wash. Uh, detail wise, it's beautiful. Nothing wrong with that. Articulation's great. I love the uh, hydraulics, the uh, pistons and all that. However, this one piston, as it comes around, when you move the shoulder up, it does put it as a, at a crazy angle. So I wish that actually pivoted a little bit, which I think over time, I don't know, I don't know how well it's going to last is what I'm saying. Uh, I still haven't quite figured out what this is yet, so... Um, yeah, I mean, it looks like a weapon. I just haven't figured out where it attaches yet. And it may be 
where this uh, machine gun is. I, I don't know, or over another side. I'm going to have to figure it out. If you do know, let me know in the comments. Hey, I'm not ashamed to take some advice. <laughs> Just saying. I uh, like the fact that it came with two sets of hands. Overall, has some really good detail. It's a great two-pack uh, overall. Uh, again, I don't know if I'm going to keep Obadiah. He's, for now, is going back in the box. And, uh, yeah, and the blast effect and that smoke effect. Um, they're, they're all going back in the box. Ironmonger is what I'm going to keep out. And uh, next step on him is going to be to weather him. Uh, if you would like to see me do that, leave me a comment, um, and I'll be more than happy to do a video on me weathering my Ironmonger, uh, but if you guys want it, let me know in the comments. Uh, also, if this is your first time on my channel, if you enjoy this content, do me a favor, consider hitting that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, make sure and turn notifications on, that way you'll know when I drop videos, when I go live, as well as anything else related to my channel. And as always, please leave me comments. I love to read the comments. I love to hear what people's got to say about it. I want to know, have you picked this up? And what do you think about my opinion on Obadiah? And as always, please remember, toys refreshes your soul. And I'll see you next time.